the microphones are active. Blue blood. Whenever you hear of blue blood, the first thing that scientifically comes to your mind is the horseshoe crab blue blood that all pharmaceutical industries all over the world use in testing for endotoxins, a type of toxin produced by bacteria. This is to ensure that whatever they are producing, they are these uh, drugs, vaccines, whatever a pharmaceutical industry is producing, they use it to test for these toxins from bacteria. And this horseshoe crab produces the only known naturally occurring amoebocyte lysate. That's the active agent used in this. However, conservationists are concerned about the decline of these horseshoe crabs. About 30% of them die after they extract this blue blood. Because the process is, they catch a horseshoe crab, extract the blood and return them back to the ocean. But 30% of them don't make it. In 2016, an alternative, a synthetic alternative called recombinant factor C, RFC, was approved in Europe. However, the American Pharmacopoeia, the authority in pharmaceutical items in the United States, still yet to approve it. So United States pharmaceutical industries still rely on blue blood from horseshoe crabs. But has the scientists overlooked something? Is it possible that the blue blood that comes from the African snail, which has a lot of medicinal value, could be a replacement for this? It's easy to farm the African snail. I know you haven't heard of blue blood from African snail, but today we are going to show you the process. We're here with my edit, the experts, who is going to extract this blue snail and talk to us about the importance of this blue blood. Now, if you want a documentary like this done for you, there's a number on your screen and an email on your screen. Give us a call and we'll be there. And if your company is located in Abuja or East Environ, where our office is, it's going to be almost next to nothing in terms of financial costs. But right now, serious business. Pharmaceutical industries, pay attention to this video. Research institutes, pay attention to this video. African snails are producing blue blood that is medicinal. So, Mr. Edet, you're welcome to Top 10 Nigeria once again. We're here in familiar grounds. I remember when we came to look at the snails and it was really amazing. Nonetheless, good to see you again, Mr. Edet. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Pascal. Yeah. Um, so, we are here again today. Yes, we're here again and this time around, it is about blue blood or blue water as some people call it. Um, I've seen the setup. Please talk us through what is about to happen here. Well, uh, as you can see, we are here today again um, to take our viewers through the process of um, extracting uh, blue blood or blue water um, in a more local way that everybody can, you know, can adopt. So that is why we are here today. All right. So without much ado, let's get into it. What are we doing first now? What we are doing, what we are doing first is um, we have a lot of things here yeah? uh, because uh, in, in when you are getting or extracting the blue blood from the snail, the blue blood is also a process that is a, a, a proce um, processing process. Okay. You extract the blue blood okay. before you now go into processing because those snails that you are going to um, get the blue blood, the blue blood from has to be processed and sent to. Uh, the people that we normally supply. Okay, you are talking of post-production post -production, of yes. snails from their shell to a package that can stay on the shell. Yes. All right. Because the first stage is for you to extract the water. After extracting the blue water, mm. then you now process the snail, package it, then we now send it to supply. Now, I'm sure what's on everyone's lips is what is blue blood or blue water? Why is it called that and what is it used for? Well, uh, just like uh, I think uh, blue blood is something that I've really come to realize that we can really get this from the snail. Most people are used to, you know, the slime and all that. Yeah. But when in the process of extracting or processing this thing, I discover there is blood that comes out from the snails. Now, now I'm trying to make a research. Well, I'm not um, a researcher. Yeah. But I'm a farmer. Yes. But now I'm discovered that if we put more, pay more attention to this, or maybe if uh, this is a pharmaceutical uh, company pay attention to this, they yeah. can really get something out of this blue water. Now, people have been calling me that they need blue water. That uh, the blue water, they are using it for, you know, um, for stroke, for BP, and how related uh, issues like that. 
So that was when I now realized, okay, that means there is more to this uh, blue water than what um, have uh, you know been. The Please come again. He said people use it for stroke. For what else again? Yes, people use it for stroke. In people they like use it for BP. They also use it for heart related issues. Wow. Yes, I've been selling to a lot of people that you no know, demand is, is is coming up. You understand? The demand is coming up. At least I have two or three people that has been weekly have been sending this uh, blue Really? Out. And they testify that this yes, thing? Yes, yes. Even like the one that I'm going to process today, I'm sending it to one of my clients. Scientists, did you hear this? Research Institute, did you hear this? Man, something has to be found out because it's from practice, from the use of this, that people, you know, get benefits from it. So we have to scientifically prove that this is possible, that blue blood from snail has anything that can improve heart conditions so um let's get right into it okay now as you can see we have some snails here these snails are already washed and um we'll take the first stage the first stage is to break the pointed the pointed tail Okay, we break it, we break it, we break it. You have to be very careful because what you need now is the blue water. Okay, you see, as we have done this, you see, something is dropping. Yes, what is dropping now is, is blood. Oh, okay, really? What is dropping is blood. What's red in this container? Is, is there a liquid inside the container? No, there is no this, this container. No, there is no liquid, it's just red. It's just the red red yes. base. Yes, red base. Sorry, okay. let me okay. Okay. It's just the red base. Yeah. So now push it from here. Seems to be a lot of it. Yes. Oh. You know, snail is all about the uh, water. You can see. We are done with this. Okay. We are done with this. Now, we'll take the next one. Now you do the process. You still continue with the same process. You have to be careful when you are doing this. Mm -hmm. You have to be careful. This comes with slime. Yeah, I don't need. I don't need slime. Okay. I don't need slime. This is the slime. But the slime still has some benefits. Yes. I heard because you are not because um, slime is used for for cosmetic. Okay, the cosmetic industry uses yes, slime. Yes, the slime. But we don't need. We are not concentrating on slime today. Okay. What we are doing today is to extract the blue water, which is the blue, the blue blood from the snail. Yeah. So anything slime, we have to take it off. Okay. I need the water. That's the water. Yes, the blue color is coming up. Yes, I can you see it? It's coming yes. up. And it's exactly the same milky yes. blue color, color from horseshoe crab. Yes. This is something that needs to be 
looked into. Twenty-five snails. Can't give you. There's some water we don't need from this. You have to be very careful. Yeah. This water is not blue. Yeah. This mixed up with the slime. With the slime. This is not blue. We don't need this. Okay. Just mix up. So you have to be you have to be very careful when you are removing this. What we need is blue blood. I'm done with this. Yeah. Same process. Uh, but the people that use this for medicinal value did. They let you know of how they administer it. Yes. Okay. Mix it with honey. Wow. Local. This is uh, um, um, natural honey. Okay. That is what they mix it with. Can also add a little of um, things like um, ginger or garlic. Oh. Yes. Wow. Wow. Every day we learn new things. So. Well, we have done our own bit. We are not a researcher. Yes. We are only farmers. We are farmers. We have done our own bit. It's just um, um, it's led for the pharmaceutical uh, industry to take over, uh, take over from there yeah. and do their uh, own research and come up with something uh, beneficiary to. Yes, to I can't agree less, man. So yeah. This is this is actually the fact. If some people are using it and it's beneficiary to them, then people suffering from the stroke. This is what they will advise you to take. Wow. This is what they will advise you to take. They mix it with other things. But I think it's really very helpful. Wow. Yes. Uh, it's really... In fact, with what you have seen here, see the blue water? Yeah. We have uh, only five, five, uh, four snails. Has four given snails are giving us this. Yes. Four snails has given us this. So by the, five we, by the time we finish like um, the 25 pieces of the snail here, yeah, we'll have like almost about one liter of this water. Wow. Yes. So, wow, so that's a high production rate for these snails. You know, value chain in snail is something that one people should really not uh, overlook. overlook. Because uh, in snail, you can get slime. In snail, you can make use of the, the shell yes. for calcium. In snail, you can get the blue water. In snail, you can make a lot of things with the snow snow uh, meat. meat you understand there are different ways of uh, processing or yes processing snow meat you understand uh, some people may use it for soup some people may use it for um you know prepare it like yes. a rice soya yeah. yes some people will um you know fry it yes. some people will dry it you know Different and it's a healthy meat. Yes, different. Uh, Low in cholesterol. Yes. So, so when you look at that, the the nutritional uh, value and benefit from snail is something that we should not overlook. 
is something that we should have done. Yes, I so, agree. As you can see, a lot of things coming out from here. Yes. From this. this is just a research that, I, not research, this is what I have gotten from, from the snail, which I know if the researcher can come in and do more research on this, they will, they, a lot of benefit will, they will derive a lot of benefit from this. You understand? So, so we still continue with our process. Now imagine how this would have been if there are, you know, equipment or this is just you know, locally extracting it. Yes. The best way a farmer can possibly do. Imagine if the, this process was modernized and, you know, a lot of checks are put in place. That's why we are also looking up to government for intervention and all that. Because we may not really have finance to to carry on with those kind of uh, research. Yes. But if government comes in, you understand, uh, with the help of the government, we can you know, move to the next level. You're right, you're right, you're right. You're very correct. You have to be careful. If it is not blue water, it is not blue water. So you have to take it off. This water, this particular species of snails is what we call Ashantina. Ashantina. Okay. Yes, Ashantina is the biggest last name. So this is what we are using to extract the water. But can you get it from other species? You may not really get it from um, uh, Folica. Okay. Because Folica is the smallest. Okay. So you may not really get as much as what you are getting from here. Okay. And the same thing, the Maginata can also give you the same, but NOS has high, the, 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 quantity volume. Not be, the volume will not be as high as yes, this. Yes. So, but um, by a Folica, they not really give you. Okay. Uh, you may not really get, really get this from Folica. All right, we're almost done with this. But, we said that I was curious, like, as you are breaking off the tip of the shells, I can see many of them here, does that mean that the snail is dead? No, actually, the snail is not dead because I've, um, I've tried as much as possible not to tamper with the intestine. Okay. It's only when you tamper with the intestine that we will now say that will affect the snail. Okay. Since I did not tamper with the intestine, that means we can still bring the snail back to life. Okay. By doing what we call a, a shell patching. Oh. We can patch up that particular um, area that we have, uh, we have, uh, we have uh, cut, off. cut off. Then we now still bring them uh, to life. But doing that, you have to do what we call intensive care. You have to put it in intensive care units, take care of them for a period of time before you now reintroduce them into the, the okay. That's that interesting. Would take, that would take an average of maybe like about uh, a month. Mm. A month. Yes. Yeah. Now before you now introduce them back to this to the pain. As you can see, some of them are moving. Yes, I, I, I just then cut off the, the pointed uh, 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 shell. Okay. That's that's true. So, if this blue water thing, researchers and scientists want it to be sustainable, they can actually drill a small hole, get the water, and patch it up. Yes. Take care of the snail they and can. introduce them into the pen. Yes, they can do that. Yeah. yeah. They can do that because um, if you don't really, if you are not in the processing period, or maybe you are, you are not processing it and you are doing this. Okay. At the end of the day, this the, the snail may be wasted because uh, you are supposed to do it and, and you now, start, now send it, package it and send it. Okay. But if the market is not ready for, it's it. Not ready for it and you are now doing that, that, that means you are going to run at a loss. Okay. You understand? But if the researcher can come up with something reasonable, then we can be using that method. We now come up with a hole, you know, now get a, you know, Cut it off. Mm. Then we now try to repatch it and introduce it back to the into the mix. Okay, that's 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 good. That's good. So we're down to the last one now. Yeah, the last one of the twenty-five. The twenty-five snails. Mm. 